Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things. Today we'll be doing this. Starting the cleanup. Okay, so there are a few things that we need before we can uh, start the setup process. Uh, the first thing is uh, running Homebridge server. You can do that on your Raspberry Pi or uh, basically uh, whatever uh, machine you have. Uh, and uh, for my convenience, I'm running uh, Homebridge with uh, a plugin called uh, Homebridge Config UI. Uh, this basically gives me the ability to uh, have a graphical uh, interface to basically do a lot of things easier in, and faster. Okay, so uh, the second thing uh, is you will need your uh, Xiaomi token. Go to this movie to check how to do that. Okay, so now we'll be installing uh, the plugin for Xiaomi Robot Vacuum. So let's type in Xiaomi Robot. And there are two ways how to get this working. So first way is just uh, press install. And second way we can go to the NPM uh, website and here we have the whole description uh, of the plugin uh, basically the install command uh, that we can use in our terminal window to uh, install this plugin globally and the second important thing we have the configuration file example uh, that is in that will be used for this plugin okay so uh, I'll use the first way just basically uh, press install and it should work so if you want uh, a video that shows how to uh, basically set up Homebridge with this uh, user interface plugin, then uh, leave a comment. Okay, so uh, let's go. Uh, so the first thing, install the plugin. We will see this window showing us, ba showing us basically what's going on. Uh, it would be uh, basically the same going on uh, in the terminal window. Okay, so we got uh, a, a confirm. So we got now a confirmation window saying that we have uh, our plugin installed. But now uh, there is uh, one more thing to do. Uh, we have to uh, get uh, the configuration file uh, running uh, for this plugin file. So also there are two ways. Uh, in this plugin, you can just go to the configuration window and uh, type it in. Uh, and the second way is basically go to your terminal, uh, download your uh, Homebridge uh, configuration file, uh, modify it, upload it, and reboot uh, the Raspberry Homebridge service. Okay, so uh, we'll do the second way. Uh, so first, uh, first thing we need to do is to download uh, the configuration file uh, from your current Homebridge config. Okay, so uh, one second. I have a script that basically uh, does this for me. Okay, so we have this configuration. Uh, and for me, it's, it's saved uh, at uh, a web share. So basically uh, quite convenient to, to work with. And now we have to go and uh, check out what's in the uh, what's in the configuration example provided by uh, provided by uh, the author of this plugin. Okay, so basically it's a platform file. So let's take let's take the whole thing. Okay go to your uh, text editor, find uh, the platforms part and let's just paste everything now. Okay, so add a semicolon and now uh, we can see that there are actually two devices in here as an example, so we don't need that. And let's delete the second device. Okay, you see that uh, the red uh, underscores were deleted. Uh, deleted. So let's uh, let's uh, now um, basically set up the configuration file. So, uh, like I said in the beginning, go to uh, that movie that shows you 
how to do that and uh, let's use this information. Okay, so I have my token information. I know that my Roborock is running on this IP. You can check uh, the IP uh, even in your uh, Mi Home app. Uh, there is a part uh, advanced settings and network settings and there you basically have it running there. And the second thing that we need is basically uh, the token file. So my token is this. Let's take it. Save it. And basically now we need to update Homebridge. So take this configuration file and upload it to the uh, to the Homebridge service. So now probably we need to wait a minute or two for Homebridge to reboot. So let's log in. And now we should see in the accessories tab, we should see uh, robot vacuum. And if we go to the uh, Apple Home app, it should also be available in there. And now I see that it's it's currently off. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Uh, we have our device added to uh, Apple Home. If I switch this in, the, the, the Roborock will start the cleanup. So let's try this. And I heard that it's starting, let's look. And if you switch it off, it will go back. Okay, so this is basically how you uh, install all Homebridge plugins. So there are a few steps. Step one, uh, you must have Homebridge running. Uh, step two, for your convenience, install uh, the plugin uh, that gives you this uh, user interface. Step three, find your plugin and install it. Step four, update config. That's all, and as you've seen, it just works. So thank you for today. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next one.